This is another remote access video, and I'm going to use Zero Tier to show you how to do this over the internet or local. The videos I made previously with Windows, which is Windows Professional, are higher editions that have Windows Remote Desktop built in. But if you have a Windows 10 or 11 computer with ju that just has Windows Home Edition, you don't have access to Windows Remote Desktop. Windows Remote Desktop works great, but it's not included on the Home Edition. So, but we can use VNC software, and there's multiple VNC softwares. The one I'm, I'm used to using is Type VNC. You can use Real VNC. There's a number of VNC projects out there. Uh, this one is at TypeVNC.com on the download button, and you can just download the latest version of it. I've already downloaded it. Let's just run through the installer really quick. This little pop-up here is one of my earlier videos about the new security feature in Windows 11. I love turning this on because it's harder to get viruses this way. I'm going to say install anyway. I know what this is. I accept the license and I always hit custom. If you were only doing this connect to another computer and you didn't want anybody to connect to you, you could just not install the server. But I'm going to let it install the viewer and the server. All the defaults here are good for this task. Now, you have to put in, you don't have to put in a password, but you really should. It's extremely difficult, uh, dangerous not to have a password. There's two different passwords. It will work if you use the same one in both. And I'll click OK, and I'm done with it. And you'll see down here it's installed it has a little logo it has two different IP addresses because I have the real virtual the hardware of this other computer which is 10.19.70.2113 the 192.168.1.1 and the 192.168.194.167 is my zero tier that's my virtual network card which that can work across the internet in a different home it can work in different states, different countries. That's what lets you connect to this computer from basically anywhere in the world. Uh, I'm right now. I'm connecting this to set it up in my Proxmox. This is a virtual machine server. So now let's go to and try. Let's get off of that scene. Let's try to connect to it from my. Uh, type VNC. Okay, first we'll do it over the local connection. This is the 10.19.70. You just put in the address of the computer you're trying to control and hit connect. It's going to ask for your password. And ma'am, there I am. This will work on your local home network or your local, you know, or work network, or whatever, but in the same physical network. This will not work over the internet unless you've opened a port. In your router and you do you don't want to open a port to your remote desktop in your router that's what people used to do it's incredibly dangerous that means anybody finds that port open can try to sit here and guess your password you don't want to open the port in your firewall to your to your desktop so what if I want to control this from the internet I can uh, let's launch that again and what we do is we use uh, We're going to use zero tier, which I've got several videos on zero tier. This makes a virtual network adapter like you're on a local network, but it's on the internet. It could be in a different house. It could be from your work to your home. It could be a family or a friend or a family in another state that you want to jump on their computer and help them. This 192.168.194.167, it looks like a home in, uh, an internal IP address, but it's actually the, my demo test uh, zero tier network. So I'm going to put the address, the zero tier address of that computer in. That computer could be in another state. And then I'll just hit, just like I did with the real physical address, just hit connect, put in the password, and ma'am, I'm right in. This would work without any holes in your firewall in another state, another country. This is a great way to get back if you have the Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition that doesn't have Microsoft Remote Desktop. This is also a good option if you're just trying to show people how to do something. 
because the remote person on the other side with Windows Remote Desktop, it logs out their session and they can't see what you're doing, which is great for security, but you can't teach somebody that way. So this is a good option for that also. So here you have a free, unless you have many computers and you need to license, buy licenses, but for your own personal use for, you know, less minor and non-commercial use, you have a free unattended remote access that should be rock solid reliable. Another thing about this, say like I don't want to have to manually start this every time, I can save this as a neat little trick. Let's call this, I'm just going to make up a name. You would probably name this whatever computer it was. I'm going to call it YouTube Demo. Let's click Save. If you click Yes now, you'll save the password. So you just have a double clickable interface. If you're the only person who can get on your computer and you, and you feel comfortable doing that, go ahead. If not, don't do it. I'm going to click Yes there. Let me let go of this computer. And here's another computer I had. This is my, one of my servers. And I have this set up. And you see I just double click and there's my desktop that quick. This would work even if I were across the internet or in a different house. This would still work. Uh, go back and watch my earlier videos on zero tier for more examples on using zero tier. But you know this this process will work on a local network with a physical address or a zero tier or tail scale address across the internet without any ports open, and uh, it's, it works great. Okay, uh, and I'm going to be making some more. I'm going to make a video about how to secure this so that this, this VNC is only listening to your zero tier or tail scale connection and some other videos on how to do this with Mac. If you want to see it, like it or subscribe. Thanks.